please disconnect the power and remove the battery before changing an LCD panel. Then remove rubber screw covers. Remove bezel screws. Go ahead and remove the bezel. Start from the left side and move consistently around the display assembly, separating the bezel from the outer and inner edges. Remove four LCD frame screws. Keep track of your screws by the steps of disassembly. Carefully separate the back cover from the screen to expose four more screws holding the LCD panel. Remove two LCD screws on the left side, then two more on the right side. Support the screen on the last screw. Mind any cabling which might be glued to the screen. Lay the LCD panel on the keyboard, then lift the video connector tape, then disconnect the video cable. Discard the old panel. If a new panel does not appear to have any protective film, line the keyboard with a cloth or a paper towel. Place the new panel on the keyboard and reconnect the video cable. Please be extra careful when connecting to the video socket. It is tiny and very fragile. Secure the video connector with tape. Bend out the protective film tabs, then lift the screen up and align it with a frame. Secure two LCD screws on the right side, then two more on the left side. Remove the protective film. Secure four frame screws, those also hold the back cover in place, so make sure to align it properly with a screw. At this point, it is safe to test out the new screen. Reconnect the AC adapter only, then push power. If the screen lights up and the startup graphics appear, the LCD panel has been properly installed and is working. Push and hold the power button to cancel the boot up, then disconnect the AC power. Go ahead and replace the bezel. Align in the bottom, then snap in the sides and the top, and make sure the bottom edge is properly snapped in as well. Replace the two bezel screws, then reinstall the rubber screw covers. Reinstall the battery, then reconnect the power and you're done.